Hi guys, this is Sridhar. Next, we are going to discuss about uh, the getLine procedure available in util file package. What is the getLine procedure? GetLine, from the name itself, you can identify that it's fetching the line. It's fetching the line from the flat file, from the text file. It's fetching the line from the text file. Till now, we have seen how will you write the contents into the text file. Now you are going to see how will you read the contents from the text file. To read the contents from the OS specific text file, you will be using get line. To write the contents, you will be using put line. To read the contents, you will be using get line. Get line procedure. The syntax is util file dot get line. Here also you will be passing two parameters. The first parameter is the file handler and the second parameter is a buffer variable. Here in this buffer variable, you will be storing the contents which we read from the text file. The content which we read from the text file will be stored in this buffer variable. And later you can print the buffer variable in the dbms output for re our reference. So example util file dot get line of the file handler comma the buffer variable in this buffer variable what are the lines you get it from the text file will be stored in this buffer variable now we will see a sample program how you will read the contents from the text file and print it in the output let me execute this program let me explain one by one util file dot f open since we are using since we are handling file operation first we have to open the file which file you are going to open under which location the file is present the first parameter of the f open is the location where the file resides it is user dar and the next one is the file name emp data dot csv and the mode which we are using is read mode so we are going to read the contents present in the emp data.csv file so the file should exist let me check whether the file exists or not yes the file exists in this directory c colon slash temp which is nothing but use user dar and emp data.csv and the mode which we are using is read mode we are going to read this file so inside the loop normally this file is having more than one line so if you are going to process more than one line definitely you have to include the loop inside the loop and in loop you have to write the these statements how will you read the contents present in the file to read the contents present in the flat file flat file you will be using get line so util file dot get line of within parenthesis two parameters are passed passed one is the file handler that is emp file file handler comma the buffer variable the buffer variable here it is v1 v1 is the varchar2 data type of bytes 20000 normally in pl sql the var pl sql the varchar2 can handle 32767 bytes whereas in sql you will be using nearly 4000 bytes and the get line you will be fetching the line the, you will be fetching the first line you will be fetching not all the lines only the first line of the file emp data.csv you will be fetching the first line of emp data.csv and the first line will be stored in v1 variable and then the second statement is we are printing the output output of the v1 variable and this loop will continue this loop will continue until we reach until we reach no data found no data found means until we reach the end of the file 106 the record will be re read and after 106 the record if it tried to read the file it will get the exception no data found at that time it will exit from this loop exception when there is no data found then it will exit whenever you re whenever you use the loop and end loop definitely you have to use the exit condition here the exit condition is when there is no data found then at that time it will exit so after reading the 106th record 
get line emp file of v1 so after getting the line of 106th record and after printing this value of 106th record it will check whether still there are no still there are any more records present or not there are no more records available so it will throw no data found exception at that time it will exit from this loop and closing the emp file here we will be displaying the output of the output of the contents present in the file emp data.csv file contents present in the emp data.csv file let me execute before that clearing the yeah already cleared block completed got it sometimes there is a problem with this uh, server output on and off now we got the result what are the data present in this emp data.csv those data are written in this dbms output let me check what are the contents present in this original flat file employee id first name and last name so all the lines are printed here So totally 106 records. The employee IDs are in random so we can't check it. If you want you can use a increment operator while printing. And that's all about this session. Here we have discussed how will you read the data from the flat file and printing the data into the DBMS output. Even you can uh, practice, you can do in this way read the data from the flat file and inserting the all the data into a separate table also you can try doing that if possible i will do that do it in a separate session as well now i am winding up the session next we will be discussing about the remaining all the procedures available in this util file f copy the remaining procedures are copy remove and rename so you can also copy a operating system specific file and also you can remove you can delete the file os file and also you can rename the file from the plsql block itself these things we will discuss in the next session thank you